Hello everyone, welcome to this video on Altrux hands-on practice questions. In this video, we will see how to create a stock market's summary dashboard. Below are the topics covered. The main portion which we will be covering here is the reporting tools like report header, render, table, report text, visual layout and interactive chart. Moving on to the data part, our data is from the money control website. Okay, so this is the website and this is the table whose data we will be taking. In my one of the, my previous video, the web scraping and nifty 50 website of money control, I have shown how to download this data from the website into a PDF. So I'm using the same workflow which I have created last and instead of PDF, I have done it as a Excel. This is my Excel file. You can see it is being it is similar to the one which is here. The values won't match because this is updated on a this is a live data and currently is getting updated because it's the trading time. So I have downloaded my Excel for the data. Moving on to the output, this is the one which we are trying to accomplish. We'll create a stock market summary dashboard. We'll have three cards there for the top stock, worst stock, and the top LDP. We'll have a stock performance where we'll be showing a bar graph and the stock day change where we'll be showing a line graph. Now let's move on to the Altrix. For the input, we will point our input source to the Excel data set which is downloaded. Now for the worst stock, the first step would be to use a summarize to get the minimum percentage change value. Next, I'm joining that with the main data set so as to get the name value. So now the join condition will be based on the minimum change, percentage change and from the right hand side the percentage change. Next, if I show you here, we need the name, sorry this is the text, we need, need the name of the stock we need the percentage and we need the symbol for that symbol i am creating a calculated field so if the minimum change is less than zero then convert this to string and add the down arrow to it else none so to get this down arrow i am using this copy care website there are multiple websites which you can use so from here if you click on any anything you can copy the symbols and then you can paste it so if i show you here you can directly paste those symbols okay so like that i have created the symbol you can see the output it comes with a value and the down arrow which is connected to it so this will be a string field next i'm using a report text so this is a text value and here if you see the available fields you can see all the fields which is from the previous formula tool. So I'm using the name here and I'm using the new minimum here. And for this new minimum, I'm formatting it with the text color as red and this one as white. And again, you can fill the background as black or any color. So I'm doing it as black. Similarly, we'll create the top stock, but instead of minimum, we'll take the maximum percentage change. We'll pass it and here we'll have the up arrow. In the report text will format this to green color. For the LTP that is the last traded price will be taking the LTP which is the maximum LTP and same as the top stock will give it a top arrow and the report text will use the green color. So this cons consists of these three graphs or sorry the cards which are being created. Now let's move on to the stock performance which is a bar graph. To create that, this select is not needed. I just used it because I was just testing out of it. The main thing here is to create a new field which is which will distinguish whether it's a positive or negative value. If we see the graph, this is a positive value, this is a negative value, so can they are colored differently. For that, I'm creating a new field. If the percentage change is greater than zero, then make it as high, else make it as low. 
Next, I'm just sorting that presentation in descending order and sampling few records out of it because there are, if you see the website, there are at least 20 to 25 stocks there. So we cannot use that in a bar graph, that many things in a bar graph, it will look very cluttered. For that purpose, I'm just sampling out. I'm doing one of every rows and where n is equal to seven. You can try anything you want. I'm not doing first n or last n because as I'm sorting the values, if I do first 10 on the last 10, the negative and positive values will not come. Only positive will come or only negative will come. For that purpose, I have used one of every n rows. This is going to give me eight records here. Now I'm using interactive chart. Here you have to click on add layer. You can give a name or you can remove this. The type is bar, orientation is vertical here, x axis is name, and y axis is the percentage change. Next, in the transform, I have clicked on split and enabled it, and I'm splitting it based on the low and high. Font, I have kept it as default. Now, in this layers bar, you see there is a high then there is a low that's the use of the split okay so we are getting different parameters to be changed for high and low now for the high bars i have kept the color as green and i have kept the text color also as green and the text position is outside for the low it's the bar color is red and even the text color is red in the chart type, I have defined a background as black. And here in the title, I have given a stock performance. Axis, I have just hidden all the X and Y axis from here and even the grid lines. The labels are shown here. I think that's all. Legend is there. Okay, legend, you can reverse it, keep it vertical or anything. Now, this is done. Moving on to our last one, which is the line chart. I'm using the buy price in ascending order and passing it to an interactive chart. It has similar features like a previous one. So here, but here I have given a name. The type is area chart. Actually, you have to, I have selected a line chart with near percentage change and in the layer, I have defined this as previous value of Y. So this created an area chart. Otherwise, it was a simple, if I give it as none, it will be normal line chart. Then you can try, want to show lines, points, anything if you, this, so this is how this will work. I kept the points. Symbol type also you can define, you can give some different symbols, that is also okay. The color of the symbols you can do, legends if you want to show or not. Again in the chart type we have the background and the title. Axis is similar as the previous one, you can hide grid lines of the same. And legend you can hide and all. These are the, just the basic functionalities. Now I am passing all of these outputs to a visual layout here all our outputs are available and you can drag and drop to align the position so the first three i have kept in the first row and then i have dragged the other two in page setup you can choose what type of report will be i have chosen pdf the paper size you can choose margin breadth etc and as well as the orientation Next thing I'm passing it to a report header to give it the title. So report header is for this. I'm keeping the date and I, this is the image I'm passing it. So I'm keeping the date format and keep passing the image. Last is our render tool where the output path I'm defining. The data field I'm giving it as layout. There are no spaces between records. 
for the header you will have to check this option it is by default unchecked and you have to choose whatever what value has to go to header so for me the header part is going to header because the report header by default creates a header field and you have to check this show header and footer on the first page if you want otherwise if you don't want on the first page you can remove this paper size i have kept it as default and orientation as well so finally this is the output which we will be getting i hope you understood the video and if you like the video please subscribe to the channel for more such videos thank you so much for watching